All right, people, Mr. Wright here with Lesson 31 for trombone. You know how we can divide a single beat in 4-4 four -four time into 4 16th notes, like one e and a, one e and a. In previous lessons, in Lesson 14 and 16 and other lessons, we've divided those beats, and we've grouped it together in different ways. But now, in this lesson, we're going to group together the first three 16th notes into a dotted eighth note. And that's going to leave us one sixteenth note at the end to where the rhythm sounds like da, di, da, di, da, or just da, da, like that. It's called a dotted eighth sixteenth rhythm. And then at the end of the lesson, we're going to flip that rhythm around to where it goes di, da, di, da, di, da. And it's important that you subdivide each beat in your mind into one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a because you don't want to change it into a triplet feel where you're going da di da di da di. So it's important to go da di da di da di da, like so. But before we start that, we need to do a review of lessons 14 and 16, where we've introduced other ways to group that group of four 16th notes. So let's start off with number one, where it's a lesson 14 review. You see how we group the first two together to make one eighth note, like right over here. And then we're left with these two 16th notes where this is da, di, da, or one, in, da. And this 16th note right here comes right on the upbeat or the second half of the beat. So like when you're tapping your foot, da, di, da, da, di, da, da, di, da, da, that those two 16th notes, the first one hits straight on the upbeat of the second half of the beat. So and as you're playing these 16th notes, the way not to rush them is to imagine that this third 16th note, the same as this guy right here and this one right there, that that's coming on the upbeat. One, the end of two, the end of three, the end of four, the end of. That way you won't rush that. We will be using the metronome because you need to hear how the 16th notes divide the beat into four equal parts. So let's start off with number one. Actually, I do this time have the metronome set at 80 beats per minute. Surprise, surprise. Hmm. What's happening to me? Okay, so here we go. Here's number one. One, two, three. Then number two, we're going to flip that rhythm around to where we're going dee da da dee da da And of course, this 16th note occurs right on the upbeat. Dee da da, dee da da, and then when we get over here in this fourth measure of it, dee da da, dee da da, dee da da, dee da da. So here comes number two. One, two, three. <laughs> Then number three, and in your mind you need to be tracking like one and a two e and. See, this is where I put both of those rhythms flipped. They're like a, a mirror image of each one. Di da da di da 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 rest da 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 di da da da. The way you'd count it, one and a two e and three four, one and a two e and three four, and di da 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 di da. There, I flip these back around backwards from from the way it was up here. And so you have to really pay attention. <laughs> uh, so sorry about this. Hey, number three. And a one, two, three. <laughs> Then here's a review of lesson 16. We've got the four 16th notes, and then we're going to group together the middle two. It's when I, I call it stalling in the middle of the beat. Dita da, dita da, da. And then this is what it looks like. This is the same thing as this, right? These two 16th notes right here equal one eighth note in the middle of that beat. So let's try this. Number four. One, two, three. 
Same kind of deal. I just start mixing up the rhythms here. All right, so you just have to pay attention. And of course, you, you need to see where the beat lies. Here's beat one, here's beat two, here's beat three. So here we go, number five. One, two, three. to the new stuff that I was explaining at the beginning. Um, right here, we're gonna group the first three sixteenth notes together into what's right over here, an, a dotted eighth note, okay? Three sixteenth notes is the same thing as a dotted eighth note. And then we got that one sixteenth note on the end, and that's this guy right there. So this is D, 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 D. And in your mind, you've got to be subdividing like, one e and uh, three e, like that. D da da da. All right, and so let's try number six. One, two, three. Watch out for just straight these straight eighth notes right here. It's only one bar connecting it, so you got to be careful. On beat two, it's just straight eighth notes. So it's D da 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 da, and then uh, number seven, little tune I wrote, D da 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 da. And in this key, we got B flats. All of our B's are B flat. All of our E's are E flat. So E's at E flat in third position. And uh, of course our A's are A natural because there's not a flat on our A space. So it's an A natural in second position. All right, and this is just a B flat scale walking straight up. So here we go, number seven. One, two, three. <laughs> To the third page. Now we're going to flip that rhythm around backwards to where we have dita rest, dita rest. And see, we got that one sixteenth note right there. And then we've got these three sixteenth notes grouped together into that one dotted eighth right there. So the, the rhythm is dita rest, dita rest. And in your mind, you're thinking dita, dita, dita rest. Dita, like that. And if it's right, just like this, one right after the other, Dita, 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 Da, Dita, Dita, Da, Da, Da. Here we go, number eight. One, two, three. 
a bit here so you gotta pay attention sometimes we got this rhythm going on where the 16th note is at the end of the beat sometimes we have it flipped around dita da da dita da da right so you gotta pay attention and all your e's are e flat third position all your a's are a natural because there's no flat on your a space so key of concert b flat number nine. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> It's just going up the B flat scale, but I throw every type of rhythm that we've gone over so far, as far as I know. So uh, number 10, Ooh, and of course it's key of B flat, a B flat scale, B flats and E flats, your A will be A natural in second position. A and a one, two, three. So that is less than 31 dotted eight sixteenths, of course, a review of everything else that we've gone over. So I hope your brain's not hurting too bad today. Have a wonderful day.